Hi, welcome to Watercolor with Sonia. Today I am working on one of my pieces from my um, watercolor uh, coloring pages. And just trying to find my brush here. What, oh yeah, they are. Okay. Um, and what I did was I used some red in his jacket and his back uh, pack saddle on the on the bike. I put in some uh, kind of raw umber, gold, quin gold into the background, added a little bit of uh, green. And now I'm just going to work on a little bit. I had lamp black here just a moment ago. And I have to figure out, oh, there it is. So we're going to be working now on the car that are in the parking lot. And this is on Argyle in North Van West Vancouver, sorry. And it's just a matter of everything is almost all black here inside the windows. And uh, there's a little bit of kind of reflection. There's a little bit of light on the side. It's pretty much all black. There's a bit of a reflection at the top here where the line is of the, of the car. So there's a little bit of white in there. And you keep coming down to the license plate. You can hardly see anything. Like going around here. There's a little bit of red just in just up here. This area is red. This is a light. And there's a little bit of white reflection underneath that. It's kind of dark back there. And then the bumper happens. So there's a light line across there. And then underneath here is a bit of white. And then it's really dark shadow underneath that first bike. Uh, sorry, first car right there. That's really dark underneath there. So I'll come up and I'll add a little bit more to these lines here. Let me give you a better sense of the car. I'll get that red in a few minutes once I've used up all my black. Now the interesting thing is this is a black tire too. Um, and so with the ink it's not a problem. There's a pedal here somehow. I don't know what he's doing. He's either dismounting or slowing down and this is the tire under the car as well right here and so this is his actual um, pants and I did that all in black but I think I'm going to change that this time and we're going to do the car here which is pretty much white and that extends over here oh I've got to get the tire here and his sole is also black on his shoe here I'm going to make his pants a different color so that helps to distinguish there's also a lot of dark underneath the car here. The tire here is all dark. So is the underbody there. We can take that right across here, all the way across. We'll put a little bit of reflective. This is a sidewalk, or actually a barrier where the sidewalk ends. And let's see here now, going back a bit more. This is all kind of very light, but the window is dark. So I'm going to go back in here and get that dark for the window. And under his arm, how much you get? You get another little red. So I'm going to kind of outline that with the black so you can actually see it. Here, here a little bit. There's another red light there. There's just, just a hint of kind of grayish area here. License plate, there's a bit of shadow there. I'll add a little bit more dark to the tire. Now the interesting thing is I didn't bother doing like the spokes or anything, but you could certainly add in spokes if you wanted to. Just that. His helmet, I'm going to make black. I get a black helmet. And I left pretty much everything underneath that, a little bit of white and black, a little extra black in the one area. And now the sec third car here is also black. It's amazing how many black cars there were. And a little bit more reflection there, and another red light down there. So I'll just get the little bit of shadow there, and then right underneath here. And the tire is also, again, black with a little bit of extra. A little bit more there, a little bit more underneath the car. And now we've got the final car, which is also grayish black. And so all the window gets taken down here, too. And around the vehicle as well, there will be it'll be white on top here. And it'll wait around the rim of the vehicle window. And there, too, so that you can distinguish between the two. Um, there's another car back here, believe it or not, and I put a little person in there today. Yes, I figured maybe people wouldn't understand it better if I put a person there. I don't know. There's a roadway there too. 
Um, I'll leave the sign the way it is. I will get some red into the sign. I can put a little bit of black into the P here. Um, there's a telephone pole. Let's continue with the car here. There's a little license plate there. Just trying to see where the lights go. Okay, so I'll just cover that up over here and here. And then there's a bumper. And we'll cover that and put a tire in there. And then get some nice shadow underneath here too. Get some more dark tire there. Get a little bit more paint in here so that you can actually see the outline of the other white car. And I'll bring in another color because it, it's just not easy for you to see exactly what I'm doing. So do that first. Now, um, there's some brown. And I don't know if this is neutral tint or sepia. I don't know if I'm going to get a brown. I need water. And my water is hiding behind here. Let's try that. So let's see if I can find a bit of brown. This is a telephone pole of some sort. I'm just trying to add in a little yellow in there. Now, just so you can see, oh, it looks greenish. I can actually use that same color with the Payne's gray and the yellow to make a bit of green. Or I could take some Viridian green and just drop it in there and it'll create a little bit of a neutralish green. Um, there's a bit of green. This is kind of the fall time of the year, so I could add that in there. Um, could even put a little bit of blue in there just to make it recede a little bit because you're not going to see sky. This is not sky up there. So let's just pop in a little greenish blue back there behind the sign. Okay. Even a little bit more darks just in the base here. Oh yeah, I said I was going to change his color of his pants. Let's put a blue pant and I'm going to add a little gray. Hopefully it'll make it a little bit more denim-y like. I don't know. It looks pretty green to me. I'll use some red and a little bit of purple try and I've got a fail of green fail of blue green shade oh well, there we go I'm getting a little bit better darker color here okay here's his pants so that you can see and there's a seat here somewhere too leave his um, runner white and then he's got his foot kind of halfway here. It's not, I don't know if it's still on the pedal or if it's got, if it's off. We can add a little bit of that blue for a little shadow, reflective shadow in there. Get a little bit more dark in the back corner here. Could even add a little bit more reflective shadow onto the back um, saddlebag. I think there's a little bit of his pants on the other side too. I'm looking to see there was a bit more shadow over here and I'm going to use the same color that I've got to get that shadowing in there. And maybe a little shadow under his hat. And now I'm going to try and get my other brush. And you can see that I will put a little bit of red, once I get the right brush, onto the... So it's a little bit more alizarin crimson-like. Although I've been using all those colors and I don't know if I will be able to get enough alizarin. So going back to what I see, here is the... Oh, here is the reflective light. So I think that's a little bit too dark. We're going to go with a redder color, which is just come on. Where did that, that just happen here? Mm. One of my little ceramic dishes. Okay, hold on. Where's my colors? Oh, here. So I'm just going to go back to my crimson and add a bit more color of red in there because that was just a bit too dark. And I'm looking at the lights around here. There's actually light in here around his hand. So there's a actual bike handle here which I didn't capture. Got to do that. There's a little bit more light here. Um, this brush is a bit too dry. doesn't have enough water on it. Let's just pop a little bit more color there and then there's a bit more color right in here around there. And so it starts to look like a little bit more of a car. And I mentioned a little bit of gray. So let me just bring that up here so you can see it a little bit more. And I'm looking again for my water. Okay, so what I can do just with a little bit of water, I can just move this around and lighten it up and get some of those shadows in here. And there's nothing wrong with using a little bit of that red to enhance that area. Shadow up here a bit more. Maybe shadow along here, along here. Oh, and I mentioned red for the parking sign. So let's get some 
a little red around here and here. And so the last thing is those back windows there. Um, and it's just a matter of taking a little bit. It was kind of a palish, burnt sienna kind of color. I'm looking for a little bit bigger brush. Here, you're going to get a really big view of the tire here. So I happen to have some raw sienna here. I've got a little green there. I'm just going to see if I can enhance this area here with some different bits of color. Um, the only thing I'm missing here, I feel, is a little bit of blue. I got some blue on his pants. Let's add a little bit more blue there. When we pop in, and, oh, it's turning green because it's got a little bit more yellow there. Well, I'll just make it interesting. Here, let's do a little bit more there and here. Oh, there we are. And we'll move it down this way so you can see it. There is our biker on Argyle Street with his different vehicles around him. So we can add a little bit more blue down there too. Give it a little interest of color. All right, enjoy it.